Hi, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making potato cakes. For those who don't understand what a potato cake is, it's basically a pancake made out of mashed potatoes that you had in your fridge just left over. So you're going to start with two cups of mashed potatoes, three-fourth cup of all-purpose flour, one egg, then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, you're going to add one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and you're going to mix it up at this point. You want to make sure that all of the seasoning is sent throughout everything that's in there. Now, if you wanted to, as in the recipe, it says add onion. You do not have to add the onion if you don't want to. I did not in this mix just because I left it out because I had a family member who doesn't want the onion. But I left it in the recipe in case you wanted to add an onion that's diced up. So continue to mix this through until everything is together. If this is dry, and mine is a little dry, I add after this one fourth cup of milk just so it gives it a little bit more binding, but it's a little bit more mushy so when you go to make the potato cakes they actually are more manageable to put into the skillet to cook them. Now you're going to need a medium to large skillet to cook this in and at least a half a cup of vegetable oil. So that way you need to get this ahead of time, start it heating up and make sure that your oil is hot before you put these in. So in my pan, mine is already hot and ready to go. So I'm putting these in by large spoonfuls because once you get them in the pan, you can mush them down to make them an oval or round, whatever shape you want to make them but you can make them medium to decently large if you like. Um, usually I try for about three in a pan at the time, so that way there's room for them to be moved about and flipped. One way you can tell when it's time to flip them is just raise the edge and look underneath and see if it's browning. You might want to move them around a little in oil at first to make sure they're not sticking in case you don't have a non-stick pan. But it shouldn't take but a few minutes before them to, they will start to brown underneath and you can actually flip. But just peek underneath of them, see what they're ready and that they are. Flip them over. Usually I don't flip more than once or twice to get these completely cooked. Once your potato cakes are done, you're going to need some kind of a large plate or whatever to put them on. I recommend lining it with paper towel because these will come out a little oily, but if you put them on the paper towel, that will soak it out of them and that way they don't turn out as messy as if they were coated in oil. But as you can see on the plate, this is what they look like when they're done. They're really good and it's a great way to use your mashed potatoes or leftover. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time.